I grew up in, in Norfolk uh, and uh, my parents were always very keen on walking and cycling and they were also very keen on keeping a full set of local maps in the house so we had the Ordnance Survey one inch to the mile maps in Norfolk and those opened the door to a life of travel, adventure and, and ultimately to a, me doing a degree in geography which has always been my passion. Um, I'm a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society and maps and geography have basically steered me through my adult life, uh, writing books, I've written 10 or 12 books, I've made uh, radio documentaries, I've written uh, for newspapers and magazines and I'm now making television documentaries but they've always been on geographical themes. So. For example, I, I wrote a biography of the world's greatest map maker, Mercator. I wrote uh, a book based on uh, a great ordnance survey uh, hero of mine, uh, Hotine, uh, who uh, remapped the, uh, Britain um, using uh, a line of longitude known as the Prime Meridian. So I walked down that line and wrote a travel book about it. So that was like an ordnance survey thriller. Um, and, uh, and then uh, after that, the BBC <coughs> got interested in my obsession with maps, really, and uh, commissioned a series called Map Man. And uh, uh, so I became uh, the Map Man, in a way. Um, a Scottish production company called Turn, T-E-R-N, Turn TV, made the series. And, and I'm still working with them. I made a lot of, lot of geographical films with them. Um, but Map Man uh, began, it, it was so successful it ran into a second series as well, so we made 16 films in the end, but uh, uh, two of the most extreme and exciting films we made were both based on great Ordnance Survey heroes of mine, um, uh, a man called Mudge and another man called, uh, who invented the one inch to the mile map, or started it in the 1790s, and, uh, and Hotine, who much later uh, he's he's got, got a plaque outside the building here. He's a kind of, in many ways, uh, the founder of, of modern ordnance survey map making. It was Hossein who, who started something called the Great Retriangulation of Britain, um, which meant building all of these concrete triangulation pillars that we're very familiar with now. So it was the point at which that, that film was about uh, uh, accurately mapping Britain. I mean, really accurately mapping Britain. Um, and. Um, and since then I've gone on to, to make Coast for the BBC and we've now filmed uh, eight series. The eighth series is coming out this year. Uh, with Turn TV, again for the BBC, I've, I've made two series of Map Man. I made a series called Great British Journeys that followed travellers across Britain. Um, another series called Britannia, based on a 16th century uh, book. And then a series called Town, uh, second series coming out this year as well looking at British towns and how they inspire uh, communities to, um, to look into the future and cities. But maps have always been uh, my, my point of reference and the Ordnance Survey particularly. Uh, I feel incredibly humbled to be here in Southampton today. Um, it's the first time I've been to the new Ordnance Survey uh, headquarters and uh, it's mind-blowing what's going on here. It's, uh, I went to the old Romsey Road headquarters and what I think we're seeing here is the beginning of a new age of map making. Um, I, I wrote a book about uh, the first great revolution of map making which happened 500 years ago in the 16th century. I think this is the start of a, the second great revolution in map making. Uh, what is going on in this building today is um, absolutely incredible. Um, it's, it's far more exciting than uh, most of us can possibly imagine. Uh, there are things being done with, with the digital collection of geographical information that are going to be completely vital to our futures, um, whether it's health, whether it's security, whether it's uh, uh, devising safe places to live helping to create floodplain maps, helping to work out where the best places to build housing is. All these things start here with accurate mapping. Without accurate maps, nothing in this country would work. The Olympics were only safe because of accurate mapping. Um, it's, it's an organisation that, that uh, is it's a very modest organisation. 
Um, uh, but uh, you know, what's going on here is at the cutting edge of, of British life and, and indeed is totally fundamental to our future.